Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. All right, so uh, we are revisiting the Corvin cap. Um, so if you have seen the other two, uh, the first one was posted uh, in September, the end of, near the end of September. I recorded it at 921. I believe it was put up at 925. And then the uh, second one was put up on um, 116, and I recorded it somewhere you know midnight from november 3rd to november 4th it is now uh well it's technically november 30th but you know 12 after you know 14 or sorry 12 minutes after 12 november 30th but november 29th so not quite a month since i tested the last one but considering what my schedule's like with all the burgundy episodes um i wanted to go ahead and just do it now um because really, uh, now we're, we're, we're slightly two months after, well, a little more than two months after I did the first test. So, um, you know, I went almost six, uh, well, I went with uh, five, almost six, five weeks or so after the first test. Now I've done slightly more or less seven weeks after the first test. So we're going to do it. Um, these were around 11 something dollars at Costco. They're one liter bottles. Uh, I bought four bottles total. This was the first bottle I did. I drank the second bottle uh, for just a TL semicolon DR. Um, uh, they both taste exactly the same on the first test. So we're going to see what it is. Uh, Corbin says that it should last up to uh, three months uh, with no change, or I guess it doesn't say no change, but they should stay fresh for at least three months, for up to three months, I guess. So let's check it out. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't get a second glass. Because I'm also going to do my Christmas episode tonight, or at least record it. So uh, anyway, uh, I had I had I put this bottle in the fridge. Oh, was it earlier today or maybe yesterday? Knowing I was going to do the uh, episode. So let me um, go grab another glass real quick. Back on the set, though, it's not completely set up like normal. Got the Christmas tree. Yeah. Um, but as you notice, I don't have the red, uh, make sure I don't break anything over here in the dark. Um, I don't have the red tablecloth. And that's really just because to my right that you can't see on camera, I have a crap ton of wine bottles from Psalm Select. You know, oh, look what I got. Not exactly the right glass. Let's try to get the same glass this time. Um, so I have a whole bunch of Psalm Select bottles to uh, for future review. So hopefully I can get those done here. Those will all be post Burgundy, by the way. Plus I have here basically the same glass. Uh, plus I have a whole bunch of uh, review wines from Yano Estacado, Trinquero. I uh, got another Don Melchor. Whoa. Uh, so I got all kinds of stuff. I got plenty of wine. To get to me into the past the new year so um <clears throat> plus got a whole bunch of wine from underground cellar that i still haven't uh had delivered yet all right so this is a freshly opened bottle so ideally these should taste exactly the same they both were in the fridge so they're both at the same temperature so they should taste the same and um let's get it done all right so first off is the Corvin one now if you remember when i did the the, the second episode of this um i had to change the capsule and i was a little concerned i might have gotten too much oxygen into the wine so far nothing smells off on the wine I can tell you if I, before I even do try this, 
It tastes like a freshly opened bottle of wine. Aromatically, there's a little bit of a difference here. It's a little fresher, a little like um, um, like peach skin. Also, a touch of creaminess to it, which I don't remember the other two times I had this wine. Kind of strange. Let's taste it out. Taste it out. Let's taste it. That peach skin and creaminess are completely gone on the palate, so I don't know what the aroma is like. So that's exactly side by side. Okay, so, whoa, after what, five ish weeks, um, there was zero difference in the wines. Um, after what, nine weeks, um, the Corvin Cap bottle, while it tastes, tastes fine, it tastes good, it doesn't have the same acidity level as the freshly open bottle. This is like ripping acidity, whereas this acidity is a little more muted. Um, I don't really think it's because I got any oxygen into it, um, but it could be just, you know, as, as you as you start taking wine out of the bottle and you're putting the argon gas in there, um, in theory, you don't have any oxygen. It's all argon. But in reality, you're going to get a little bit of oxygen in there. Um you know, there isn't that much, like if I just kept this capped without a Corvin cap and no gas, this would actually stay okay if you kept it in the refrigerator for at least a few days. I mean, not 30 or 60 days. Um, but Corvin, in my experience, I mean, I don't know if this is true or not, but, you know, anecdotal evidence, um, the less wine taken out, the longer the wine survives under Corvin. Um, you know, if I had if I had like that much wine left and I had been corvinning it for like six months, well, it might taste okay. It might taste fine. I don't know, but it won't taste just like the very first class. So, um, this, first of all, it works. So we're at nine weeks. It works. Um, I mean, the aromas are actually really good. And now that, now that things have blown off a little bit, It might have been just some reductive quality because it was under screw cap that was getting to be the very beginning. They, they, they smell just exactly the same. Let's taste them again. Flavor. The only difference really is the acidity. I like this one better because it's not... Well, I, I, I'm kind of an acid head on wine. It's not ripping your face off acid. This is exactly ripping your face off, but comparative to this, very acidic. Um, almost unpleasant acidic, I guess. Um, this one's like, okay, it's kind of mellowed out. So if I was going to drink the rest of one of these bottles, it would be this one, but I got to hold on to this for one more experiment. So since it's the end of December, I'm sorry, November, uh, in reality, I probably won't record the last episode of this until I might record it the same week I do the New Year's Eve episode, uh, or I may have to actually do it between Christmas Day and New Year's Eve, because I believe Christmas Day is a, what is, is a Monday, right? So which so means I have my Christmas episode, which I'm recording now, or after this, uh, uploaded almost a full week before Christmas. Let's see here. Yeah. Christmas Day is a Monday. So the Christmas episode will actually be up on the 18th of December. And then I will probably post the um, New Year's Eve episode on the 26th of December. So somewhere along the, that week, I'll probably record this next last episode um, to be put up on the 8th of January. And then after that, the rest of my burgundy stuff. So I have, what's today? Today is the, uh, when is it, the 30th? So December 4th, 
11th, I have two more Burgundy episodes to put up. And then we have the Christmas episode, a New Year's Eve episode, a Corvin episode, and then the rest of the Burgundy episodes. And that takes me all the way up to, you guessed it, Valentine's Day. Yes, I have no idea what I'm going to do for that yet. Anyway, it works. It does its job. Cool. Nothing else. 10 minute episode. Who knew? All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Click the links above to friend me up. This is, of course, on the website because on YouTube, I don't have all the. I mean, I haven't gotten fancy and done all that. I know you can do all that on YouTube. I just haven't done it. Anyway, click the links above to friend me up. Click the link below. Links. I guess I'll put the link to the winery again. Link for Corvin Cap below at the website. Uh, you get the donate button over there. Help me recover from Burgundy um, because I want to buy more stuff. Like I want to buy like actually a big, it would be right behind there actually, a big um, wine fridge, but it's hella expensive. Um, but it'd be really nice. Anyway, uh, donate some ducats. And uh, I might start doing, uh, if you come to the website, I might actually allow JavaScript to run um cryptocurrency mining but you would know about it i wouldn't do it in behind your back you would know about it and you could actually tell it to not do it anyway i'm thinking about doing that maybe i can get you know a billionth of a bitcoin that's worth like five dollars all right that's gonna do it we'll see everyone again next time